Installing your new smart code lever is simple and easy. Before you start, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and four AA batteries. The smart code lever box should include the following parts. The exterior keypad assembly, the interior keypad assembly with battery pack, two levers, the deadbolt latch and accompanying strike, the mounting plate, the half round spindle, the keys, a small hex wrench, and a variety of bolts and screws. Printed information sheets inside the box include how to bore a hole in an unprepped door, the smart code lever quick installation guide, and the smart key rekey instructions. Step 1. Install the latch. The latch has two back settings, one for 2 and 3 8 inch and the other for 2 and 3 4 inch. To determine which setting to use, Measure the distance between the center of the borehole to the door edge. The latch is shipped in the 2 and 3 eighths position, but if 2 and 3 quarters inch is required, grasp the spring pin from both sides of the latch using two fingers and slide it over to the 2 and 3 quarter inch setting. Attach the latch using the shorter wood screws provided so that the slant of the bolt faces in the direction the door closes. Step 2. Install the exterior keypad and interior mounting plate. Place the exterior keypad on the door and route the keypad cable over the latch. Thread the keypad cable through the upper hole of the interior mounting plate and the spindle through the center hole. Position the mounting plate so it's flush against the door. Attach the mounting plate to the door and exterior assembly using the long lever screws. Step 3. Install the interior assembly. Insert the half round spindle through the center hole of the mounting plate with the round edge facing the latch as shown, so it fully engages with the exterior assembly. Inserting the spindle is crucial for proper operation, so the lever will retract the latch. Remove the cover and battery pack. Align the cable connector with the port of the interior assembly by matching the notch on the connector to the slot on the inside of the interior assembly. Firmly push the connector into the slot. Place four AA batteries in the battery pack and reinstall. Align the spindle with the openings on the interior assembly and hold flush against the door. Insert and tighten the small screws to secure the interior assembly onto the mounting plate. Step 4. Install the interior lever. Slide the interior lever onto the shaft with the handle facing away from the latch. Secure the interior lever by turning the set screw counterclockwise. Step 5. Install the exterior lever. Slide the exterior lever onto the shaft with the handle facing away from the latch. Secure the lever to the shaft by turning the set screw counterclockwise. How the keypad works. Each button represents two numbers. The first button represents both 1 and 2 the second button both 3 and 4, and so on. For each number in a code, you will push the corresponding button on the keypad, and buttons can be pushed more than once in series. For example, if your code was 12568, then you would push the buttons in the following order. Step 6. Programming the first user code. Press the program button on the interior assembly once. Enter a four to eight digit code onto the keypad. Press the lock button to save the code. To test, make sure the unit is locked by pressing the exterior lever. The lever should move freely, but not retract the latch. If required, lock the unit by pressing the lock button. Then re-enter the code. The unit should unlock, allowing the exterior lever to retract the latch. If the unit doesn't unlock, repeat the previous steps. To program a second user code, press the program button on the interior assembly twice. Enter a 4 to 8 digit code. Press the lock button to save the code. To program a third or fourth user code, press the program button on the interior assembly three times for the third code or four times for the fourth code. Programming instructions can be found under the cover of the interior assembly. Step 7. Smart Code Lever User Selectable Settings 
Switch position number one controls the status LED and blinks every five seconds when in the on position. Green indicates unlock status, orange indicates lock status, and red indicates the battery is low. Switch position number two enables the auto lock when in the on position. With auto lock enabled, the smart code lever will automatically relock the door 30 seconds after unlocking. Switch position number three enables the audio sound when in the on position. When in the off position, the keypad will light red with every button press. Slide the cover back onto the interior assembly and secure with the small screws using the hex wrench provided. Your smart code lever is ready to use.